Hello Pisces, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card forecast for the week starting October 24th, 2016. And a quick reminder for you Pisces people, some folks have been trying to order sessions in YouTube comments and private messages. It's probably not a good idea to try and do it through email tag. Um, I actually can't do it that way because on my website, I do have an appointment booker like on the calendar during checkout, so people are already ordering things when they go to the website, and so it's not really you know feasible to book appointments uh, through emails and things like that because whenever there's something established, somebody could already grab it while we're waiting for responses. So if you do want to get a session with me, your best bet is to just go to my website integrativemysticism.com and book yourself an appointment uh, for phone or Skype. And if you would rather get a downloadable video file, you can also do that on the website as well. So what is going on with the astrology for Pisces people this week? Well, on Tuesday, we've got Venus, the planet of love and harmony and popularity, in your 10th house of career, forming a tense square with Neptune in your sign. And it's very important to pay attention to the road we've come down when these kinds of energies happen, um, because it might talk about a temptation with your work or with your career coming from another. This may be somebody who's offering a service to you, or perhaps even trying to help bolster your reputation or your career prowess, but it might actually be through a way that compromises your work ethic or possibly compromises the integrity of what you are actually doing right now. And usually with Venus squared and Neptune, the temptation is big because this person knows how to make a hard sell. But it might not be wise to simply go for somebody or go for a task just because whoever is good at marketing it, at it is good at marketing. You know, um, it, it might actually be more like a deal with the devil. On Thursday, we do have Mercury conjunct the Sun in your ninth house of long distance travel, government and legal proceedings, higher education, and spiritual education, and broadcasting. And this can actually be a gorgeous opportunity, especially on Thursday and Friday, and again on Monday, um, when we have you having an opportunity to perhaps expedite the completion or culmination of a long-standing um, priority with any of these areas. If you have had a, a legal situation or an academic situation that's taken way too long to process, we are hurrying this along during this time. This could also be a really, really nice thing for those of you who are looking to perhaps even book a holiday or, you know, travel, get some more traveling under your belt, working abroad. If you're trying to make business connections abroad, again, probably don't want to have those conversations on Tuesday or Wednesday, but Friday and Saturday are golden, as is Thursday. So what is going on with your cards this week? What's going on with your cards for the week of the 24th? For your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the Wild Hunt, and this is a card that talks about, um, again, things picking up the pace, but it's almost like a runaway train. Now, that doesn't necessarily have to be scary, it doesn't have to be a negative message, but the Wild Hunt is talking about a lot of what we're getting started this week is going to have more demand of our time and energy than we anticipated. This could be a work project, this could be a date, this could be a family gathering, um, or even just a, you know, just a, just a group recreation occasion. We're gonna, it's going to take a lot more of our energy and a lot more of our commitment to be there. Now, the Wild Hunt can talk about great rewards for great activity, very much like the Chariot card in the Tarot. But it's always important to also be able to observe oneself. Are we able to bite off this much? Are we looking for something this big? Or did we intend to keep something a bit more simple? Because again, runaway train. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we have the King of Pentacles, upright, beautiful card for any kind of financial matter because it does indicate not only support, um, but a huge leg up coming your way. This could be through an Earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Uh, most likely male because it is a king. Uh, it could just as easily be female, but I'm holding a king, so I'll say a he. And this also looks like an improvement, a, a big improvement or an evolution. Uh, this could actually be even to your take-home salary uh, being put on the table this week. Again, be careful earlier in the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, not so great to be having this kind of discussion. But maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're in the clear. 
because with this, this card here can also show up as, you know, again, a, a semi-permanent improvement, something that stands the test of time, not just for this week. King of Pentacles, people, don't mess about, you know, so if you're not sure, or if you feel like it's a commitment you can't make, don't, but if you want this commitment real bad, it's yours. For your communications with air, when it comes to friends and relatives and the others in your life, we've got the Emperor card, inverted. Could be some challenges with an existing authority figure in your life, especially ones that are kind of in charge of, um, I guess you could say, an asset or an area or a venue that you work with. Okay, this could be a landlord, um, this could also be perhaps even a manager of a facility that you use, maybe a utility, something along those lines. And typically with the Emperor card inverted, we're seeing somebody who's trying to throw their weight around by making arbitrary and unnecessary alterations to existing deals and ex in existing processes. We've all heard about it, you know, we all know about that supervisor, that manager, as soon as they, sh they show up somewhere, they've got to demand respect by just pissing all over everything and marking their territory. This person might be actually trying that, <laughs> or trying to make a move like that. This may not necessarily even be something so uh, much a practical priority, as this could actually be even a relative, an older relative, like a parent. So just be prepared to, you know, to adapt or, you know, help this person get checked. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Knight of Wands inverted. Beware of flakiness in your associations this week. Pisces, because the Knight of Wands inverted can often show up where people are letting their mouths write checks that their actions can't cash. And when we see the Knight of Wands inverted, it's usually because this person just wants to be a part of the inner circle, just wants to be included, but again, they may lack the finesse or the expertise to actually be of substance. Sometimes this card can also show up where people are, you know, flaking out of commitments they've made, you know, they say they'll be there and they won't. And this could be a challenge if we really are relying on this person. Most likely it's going to be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, but, you know, they could have a lot of fire in their chart and be a completely different sign. So, you know, just be mindful and learn how to pick up on those signals, you know, learn to pick up when somebody's doing more lip service than they are actually committing. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Page of Wands upright beautiful card for love because this talks about a crush or a partner taking a lot of initiative to spice things up in the relationship or in the connection this week. The Page of Wands can often talk about invitations uh, coming our way, invitations to events, invitations to parties, going out, and bringing a bit more extroversion to the relationship. These are bonding opportunities that have more to do with socializing and being out and about and in public. And with the Page of Wands upright, it may add a bit of dynamism to the relationship that you have right now. If you've been hoping that we could kind of get out more with whoever this is, this is the week we're finally seeing them agree it's time to start getting out more. So that is your forecast, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you'd like to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. I'll talk to you later.